This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a metaphorical cage, and I've seen CryptoZoo, an animated fantasy adventure drama from director Dash Shaw, made back in 2021. Set in 1960s California, it follows Lauren, a veterinarian working at the CryptoZoo, a sanctuary for cryptids owned by a woman who hopes that this place will eventually lead to their normalization and acceptance. However, Lauren's work is more dangerous than it seems, not only because of the beasts she encounters, but also the United States government's interest in using cryptids as a means of fighting and defeating the growing counterculture movement. As both parties search for the dream-eating Baku of Japanese legend, Two hippies who have found their way into the zoo spark a drastic series of events that could very well spell chaos or doom for everybody there. It might be a bit of a spoiler, but that part of the story isn't actually as integral to the overall narrative until later on. The greater focus is on Lauren's adventure in her search for the Baku, as well as her growing disillusion with the zoo and its mission, as well as whether or not cryptids should simply be left alone entirely. It's not at all a complicated conflict, and it's a blatantly environmentalist message, but the simplicity it keeps the film focused on the story. It might be a bit repetitive for some, especially when it comes to the underlying conflict, but it does at least develop characters well enough that these discussions do feel natural, not to mention that as the stakes continue to build, the importance of these talks becomes all the more realized and relevant. Structurally speaking, the film is pretty basic and predictable, with a whole lot of save the cat energy that doesn't stray far from the primary through line, nor any other characters beyond Lauren and her crew. Speaking of which, their development also isn't very strong, with their main personalities established rather quickly, and their changes being more situational than anything else. Overall, though, I think that the basic nature of these details allows the messaging to get through in a more direct manner, which in a way helps to make this world more realistic by meshing this moralism with the fantastical settings and creatures. The animation and art design are definitely what sells the fantasy aspect, of course. It's an extremely unique look, mixing a number of different styles to create a world with surreal elements within a natural environment. Scenes are primarily rendered like watercolor paintings, giving much of the world a somewhat nostalgic storybook feeling, which can then be contrasted by the action and violence occurring within. There are also a few short segments which evoke a dreamlike sort of imagery, layering visions upon each other with a kaleidoscopic effect. The movement of characters is very choppy, seemingly emphasizing the animated nature of the film more than anything story-driven, though it does speed up during scenes with a more frenetic energy or tone. Colors are also chosen rather well, Again, finding ways to merge realistic settings with unrealistic images. This conceptual contrast seems to be the film's overall goal, using cryptids and mythology to give a new life of sorts to a classic environmentalist message, and also using this opportunity to tell the story in a wholly unique manner. While it still has its share of flaws, it's still so unlike anything else that it makes up for them simply by being out there. That might be a bit ironic given the film's message, but still. CryptoZoo Dash Shaw 2021 Three and a half stars. I'd recommend giving it a watch. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. On the one hand, if I found a cryptid roaming around here, it might be fun to have a pet. 
On the other hand, I would probably lose both of my arms if I tried to pet it. I'd lose something, at least.